Hello everybody, Dave here at North East Coins. Today, on Davy's desk, uh, I've got a selection of five coins for you. Um, so what we'll do, we'll bring in the first coin, we'll check away that, and we'll bring in that. Alright, so we'll zoom in a little bit. Now, this is a set of five coins, as I've said. Now, all the obverses are the same. So I'll just show this one. It's the fifth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II by Jodie Clark. Now, all these coins are the same, as in the sense that all 28.4 millimetres in diameter. 25 millimeter, sorry, two and a half millimeters thick and have a weight of 12 grams. And the set in question is the RAF set. It's a, it's a, it's a celebrate the 28 inch set to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the RAF. Um, on this one, the first coin, we have the badge of the RAF. Um, the badge originally for the RAF was introduced in August of 1918, um, but it was revised in January of 20, sorry, 1923 to what you see now. Uh, so, all of the badge in one form or another. I think the original badge um, was uh, the, the circle on the outside was like a belt with a buckle on it uh, or a garter with a buckle on it uh, and they revised it to this one in like say, 1923 um, so uh, the coin does have an edge inscription uh, which I don't know if it's about the right way up. I think it is. No, nope, it isn't. I know people are going to scream at me for manhandling these coins, but they're my coins. The description's actually in the lesson. But uh, it reads, let me just double check my handwriting. It reads. Um, da, 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 da. through adversary to the scar uh, to the stars. Um, engraver of this one was uh, Ruth Morgan. Uh, the obverse the engraver was Jodie Clark. The second coin in the series of a set is this one, which is a Vulcan, a Vulcan bomber. Now, the Vulcan, um, I mean, what can I say? Um, the obverse, I mean, say, was uh, by Jodie Clark, but the reverse was by uh, Neil and Richard Talbot, two brothers. Um, uh, like I say, it was a Vulcan, a Vulcan, whatever. Sorry, but I'm, I'm, yeah, the Vulcan Bomber, and that was introduced, uh, was first delivered to the RAF in 1956, uh, uh, and I think it's, uh, it ran with the RAF right up until 1984, so... It did its service with the uh, RAF. Again, all these coins have the same edge inscription. Another nice coin. The next coin, if I can get it the right way up first. There we go. I'll just make sure it is the right way up. Looks silly, wouldn't it? There we go. Spitfire. What is it to be said about the Sith fire? I have got the mintage figures for all these coins, but I've, I've forgotten to read them out. Uh, the, the one with the badge on was 
96,215. The Vulcan Bomber was 60,538. And this one is 73,052. Uh, again, this one was uh, engraved by uh, Neil and Richard Talbot. Um, and the Spitfire went into commission with the RAF. Uh, in 1938 and they retired them uh, in 1961 um, if I'm not mistaken uh, Tim Bob did a little video on them where she actually seen one flying next in the series with the Sea King now that, uh, this actual aircraft, uh, when it, uh, its first flight was in 1959, uh, but it was introduced to the RAF in 1961, and it's still in service today, the likes of the, um, the United States Navy, the Italian Navy, the Brazilian Navy, all use this helicopter. Um, this one has a mintage figure of 52,052. The last coin in the series is just trying to get it because working in the camera we have this one. Now this is the F-35 Lightning II. Again, this uh, was done by Neil and Richard Talbot. Vintage figure 49,423. Now this one was made by Lockheed. Um, and it came in, I think the RAF started using it in 20, uh, 2006. And it's still in production today. Now these coins I have In this little case normally, I mean, we zoom out, I keep them in this little case, and then we'll be getting a little rub over with a, a little duster and put back in there when I'm finished. So, with that being said, you say just a brief one. With that being said, uh, join me on Wednesday for my 50p hunt. It's a scorcher. So, thank you for joining me. And we'll catch you all later. Take care, everybody.